Well, first of all, points were harder to score this year. So you're going to see the qualifying scores lower this year than in past years. And then the difference between next new gen. And as the Lakers enter the building, there was a fierce look in their eyes. That's the look of a team out to defend its home court. The bronze likeness of Lakers great Magic Johnson that can be found just outside the front door of our location today, the Staples Center. Welcome fans, thanks for joining us for this Friday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron. They probably do, and we certainly know how LeBron feels. David, thank you. Here's the starting group for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mobley and Allen, the two big men inside. Sexton and Okoro are your wingmen. And it's Garland in a point. And for Los Angeles... And they have their big three all out there. Westbrook at the... And the substitution here for the Lakers. Jordan, he's checked in for Howard. Carmelo Anthony comes in for James. ABC's checked in for Kent Bazemore. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Russell Westbrook. The then for the Two Cavaliers, Love check in for Mobley. Markkanen comes in for Okoro. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Garland. Allen, that's good. Boy, that's the vision and ability to deliver precise passes. Rubio completely on point. Anthony on the wing. Passes it to ABC. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Lots of buzz surrounding this recent announcement. MP locking up a partnership with Kia. Kia and the NBA have an extensive working relationship. I mean, to get MP on board is a huge move for everybody involved. Pass to Allen. It's Sexton on top of the key. The shot by Markin and nobody around. Not enough on that one as it misses. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds Number here to start. The shot's good from ABC. Yeah, the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. To the paint, here's Allen, and yeah. Allen slams it in. Well, this guy has got tremendous Ricky length Rubio. and hops. Jared Allen makes it easy. Lakers leading by 10. Here's ABC, and again, Los Angeles with the triple. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. They are just killing them on the interior. And Nunn has got the ball here for the Lakers. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. They're long range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. It's always a good thing when the defense is scrambling. Whenever there was open space on the perimeter, their shooters were able to locate it. The shot by Sexton, no good. Los Angeles has gone three or four on three-pointers in the first quarter, doing well from long range. And that basket is in there from ABC. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, just a little bit of momentum and Sexton going right to the rim. Pass to ABC. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. And what surprises me is the defense hasn't done anything to take away that three-point shot. That has been their preferred weapon tonight. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. And more than anything, their three-point shooting is what sparked them. A fantastic night from long range so far. We'll return shortly. The hundred. We want more. We don't accept. Brady feels this team has plenty of untapped potential. And I don't doubt it. And can Rubio improve? He's certainly very steady throughout his career, but is there another level he can get to? And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. 
And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the Lakers? Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. Three a key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. And something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. On the floor for Cleveland, getting going here in the second. Kevin Love out there with Lowry Markin, and then there's Sexton. And there's Jared Allen, and it's Rubio in at the point. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. After making the finals four straight years from 2015 to 2018, there have been some lean years lately for the Cavaliers. Over the last three seasons, they've only won a couple more games than they did in a single season, the title season of 2016. Coach J.D. Bickerstaff says the losing is tough on everybody, but I look forward to the journey ahead. Kevin, back to you. How do they say, D.A., the journey is the reward? Thanks. And stolen by Love. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Well, you like to see Kevin Love operate from there. Yes, he can shoot the three, but he's also a dangerous interior scorer. Break, let me tell you a little bit about Kevin Love. He played Little League Baseball with Clay Thompson. <laughs> They've been friends since they were eight. Imagine if they were teaming up on the court instead of the diamond. Even at eight years old, that's an inside-out combo that probably could have dominated some high school teams. No coverage, that's up there. Sexton's got 12. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, is struggling. The shot's good from ABC. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell-shot. Inside, here's Sexton, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, from the very start of his career, Howie Sexton has been a guy, Doris, who can find points even as a rookie. He was putting up some big numbers. He is relentless, looking for opportunities to score the basketball when he's on the offensive end. This guy shoots well over 40% from the field, and he will do whatever it takes to find shots. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Dwight Howard has checked in for DeAndre Jordan. LeBron comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Kendrick Nunn. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. And Doris, that flow state that athletes can achieve where you're in a groove. When you played and you really had it going, what was it like? You know what, Kevin? I love the descriptions of players like Damian Lillard or Steph Curry when they are really cooking. They talk about the, the basket is the size of the ocean, that they hear no noise, they see no defenders. They are simply in the state where all the work they've put in has come to pay dividends, and it's so unique and so amazing to watch. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional Mobile One Block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Now about three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. Two from the stripe. And that's good from Sexton on the assist from Okoro. 16 points for Colin Sexton. Here's ABC. Buries the long-range jumper. And the Lakers lead by 19. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Garland, the pass to Mobley. To the middle. Whoops, they pick off the pass. There's the pass to ABC. They get it back. Oh, and it's slammed in by Howard. Well, this has been one of the staples of Dwight Howard's game. Get on the glass on the offensive end and finish it. Sexton with it. He had a 36-point outing in the last game against the Clippers. It's good. Uh, he's starting to heat up now. He's been much more efficient with the shot in this quarter than in the first. No good from ABC. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. This is to Westbrook. Passes it to ABC. 
35 seconds left in the first half. Howard shot was good. And here's Sexton. He's got 18. He dishes it to Okoro. Knocked loose. And Love has it in the corner. Shot clock at five. Garland, no good. Here's ABC. A three-pointer off the mark. Now Garland. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. When you look at ABC in this game, he's been everywhere. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. And let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to strike the third. So the Lakers five right now. They've got ABC. Kent Bazemore is out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's LeBron James. And it's Howard in at the center, filling out the middle. And the way Russell Westbrook racks up triple doubles is just incredible. Does it so often. A testament, Doris, to his strong work ethic. I mean, this guy plays with such competitive spirit on both ends of the floor. Russell is relentless. He will sacrifice his body, and his teammates appreciate the effort he gives every single night. Lakers shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And talking about last season, this team hit just 74% of their free throws. I'm sure they were hoping for better than that. The Cavaliers shooting 47%, pretty solid. Garland, the pass to Mobley, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And it's rare to find a young man with such an advanced skill set. Mobley can handle the ball like a small forward, has a smooth shot and, and great range. The Lakers making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. Lakers leading by 22. ABC. And again for three. Barry's his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for Cleveland. Allen trying to break free. The shot by Sexton. No good. And as much as Mobley helps you out in the offensive end, break, he can get you stops as well. Yeah, I mean, he's got great instincts with the quick reflexes that can slide his feet on the perimeter and has great timing as a shot blocker. I mean, what else do you need? Outside Garland. He lobs it up, and Mobley throws it down. Uh, Darius Garland playing the role of ball distributor to perfection. Pretty pass. Here's ABC. And another three for the Lakers. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Pass to Garland. And James pulls it down. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Another bucket. Wow. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Good, that's Number another one. bucket. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Now, here's Okoro. They need this. Mobley misses. LA's gotten all four of the three-point shots to go down since halftime. They're lighting it up here. The shot's good from ABC. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Cavaliers have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. And the foul called on ABC. That's and that'll be his third foul so far. Anthony Davis has checked in for the Lakers. Cavaliers substitution. 
three-pointer Markkanen hits it from three-point range. Markkanen. Already a solid shooter. When you play off Markkanen, you risk getting burned. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. And That's good. He hits it again. And this Number game 11. has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. Boy, well, plenty of time left on the clock. Number he 11. needs to keep his poise. That's, That's his fourth four, foul four, now. Five. First trip to the line Third for him here. First free throw is good. You know what you love about Darius Garland's potential? It's as a scorer in this league, right? Is he's so aggressive. He plays assertively. And that, to me, is the key for young players. Beyond the arc. Good! Another from three. Just continues to rein it in from downtown. Hits another one from deep. Craig, the way he's shooting, he has a good chance to join some elite names on the list of the most threes in a game. In the corner, it's Mobley. And another miss by Cleveland. Well, you're trying to answer the three, but you force up a shot that he would have been better off passing up. Man, I tell you, the brow, he might be the best player in our league. With that reach, you just throw it up around the rim, and he's bringing it home. Down low. Here's Mobley. Excellent D there from Anthony. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Again, what an avalanche! That's 62 points, 62! Amazing, a, a remarkable performance from him so far. And the foul called on ABC. Number 11. That'll be foul number five That's on him, and due to the bonus, we'll be headed to the free throw. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots in the game right here. And Los Angeles with some changes. Jordan comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Kent Bazemore. Here's ABC from outside off the mark. Cleveland's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Garland kicks to Mobley. Pass to Markinen. Here's Garland. Get outside, get outside. To the wing on the left. Windler once again off the mark by Cleveland. And so it's Los Angeles. Way out in front, their lead at 38 points as we close out the quarter. And with as many three-pointers as they bring, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. You love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. And Cleveland looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. They've got Ricky Rubio. And it's Osman in at the three spot. Another steal. Here's ABC. And again, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Rondo on the double team. Here's Osman. Back to Rubio. From deep three-point range, a rebound by the Lakers. ABC has got six rebounds here tonight. Driving inside. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the Lakers? Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Rubio, the pass to Wade. Here's Windler, and he drops in the layup off the glass. What a terrific pass. Work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. 
Here's ABC. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. ABC passes to Horton Tucker. Up high to stop the alley -oop. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such That's a good six. job building the lead. And he has to take that long, slow walk back to the bench here. And he'll watch the rest of this one from the sideline. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked. Los Angeles win this one easily. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time. Absolutely tremendous job defensively, MP. Hey, walk me through your performance on that end. It all starts with our preparation, and, and that's the tone that the coaching staff has been setting since training camp. Um, we're following the course they charted for us, and, and that's what you saw out there tonight. Tremendous defensive effort from the whole team. I'm really proud of our guys. Right, so how important were your steals to the victory tonight? You know, they help generate turnovers, but you, you take it one possession at a time, and every possession counts, John. So it's, it's just part of the puzzle. I'm just glad we could pull this one out for the fans. Great stuff as always, MP. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, appreciate you uh, making time to talk to me. Oh, always. So uh, let's start with this. There's been some talk of late about the decision to draft you, and then not everyone might have been on board. Can you give me some insight as to what happened there? You know, John, look, I'm, I'm sure it was debate on draft night, like in every franchise. But what matters is that the folks in charge believed in me enough to bring me here and, and invest in my future, you know? So you feel the burden is on you to prove the doubters wrong? Of course. Look, I haven't done anything in this league yet. I'm trying to stick and prove that I belong. I got no problem doing that. Hey, you got time for another? <sighs> Actually, I got to run, John, but look, I appreciate you helping me clear the air, seriously. Hey, anytime you want to talk, I'm available, all right? My man, I'll <laughs> talk to you, John. Okay, MP, take it easy, my have friend. Have a good one. Okay, you too.